Hi everybody. So today is still today, day 10, um, after Lakeview Animal Sanctuary, doing my work out there, where you've seen that I was unable to do my squats. Hi Katie, what you doing? You're not supposed to be hanging around here because I got stuff to do that you're not supposed to be around. I did put the doggy away though, but the kitty is okay. This is Pika. Say hi to Pika. Pika, say hi to all my fans out there. Hi, everybody. He's a good boy. So anyways, today's day 10. I was unable to do my squats today. I only did a couple because I did put my back slash hip out. So like I said, be good to yourself. Pay attention to your body. And if you got to quit or just calm down for a while, chill out for a while, do that. But on that note, since today is still day 10 of my uh, birthday fitness countdown, challenge to my birthday uh, and since I did put my back out today we have Mr. Teeter Table you know that guy that jumps up in the air the old guy and he's like yes I did it and his back was all out well I did buy this this was $400 and um, one of the best purchases I've ever made this helps uh, immensely so I'm going to show you how to use it the proper way because I did go through all the videos and read the directions. I actually built this. I put this together, which is quite the task because in my condition, I was hurting for like four days and couldn't move after putting this together. I've had this for about three years or so now, and uh, this should get me back in shape. When I came home this afternoon, I left there about 1.30. I actually laid down because as promised, you need to rest your body. Let me tell you something, I slept for four hours and when I woke up, I thought it was the next day in the morning. It was still daylight outside, it was six o'clock. Um, I knew I got a really good rest, um, but when I got up to go eat my dinner outside in my garden with my dog, I realized I had a very difficult time walking up and down the stairs, very difficult. So, teeter time. Might as well show you that as part of my uh, birthday countdown fitness challenge because your health, is more important than losing weight you, even though losing weight is part of your health but your overall health is more important than actually like your physical how you treat your body is the most important thing so we're gonna go treat our body well come along with me I'm gonna show you this and while you're at it before you get on you might want to turn on Tubi um, stressful relaxing music it's perfect ambiance for a relaxing moment so that's what I'm watching now stress release um, to be video oh, not to be I'm sorry YouTube video stress relief pardon me okay let's get going told you how to turn time getting okay so you can see my frame I'm still in the same shirt at least I wasn't earlier I changed my shorts but okay here we go we're gonna walk over there is a platform here you cannot see it but there is a platform underneath the feet area. I got this just in, um, as much in enough frames so you could see close enough the movements um, and how to use this. You have to, before we get started, you should know. Oh, I can't lift my leg up like that right now. Okay. Let me lift this one up. Okay, that's not working. Anyways, you need to wear a pair of shoes when you're on this. You cannot go sock, you know, um, shoeless. We're sockless on this you have to wear a pair of snug fitting shoes to be on this teeter table it's a must they say it in directions okay so we got our sneakers on i can't show you them right now because i can't lift my legs up far enough to show you because i put my back out today and it's all on my right side all right so what you want to do is you want to gently lean against it get comfortable i know you can't see my head in here so much right now but you will in a minute then you just lift up one leg at a time into these little shoe areas you'll see that as it comes up and lift your butt up get straightened out there's this little locking mechanism right here there's a button on top you cannot move this at all unless you push the button in so push the button in move it back you hear that click you lock your feet in I'll let you hear that again oh I can't bend over with my back maybe I could do it when we're done okay I'm very sensitive right now my back is very sensitive right now so you want to do is keep both your hands on here almost always at all times 
you at least always have to have one arm on here at most times and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. When you're going back, definitely have both hands on. Oh my God, okay, gently go back. You're gonna gently, you're gonna naturally exhale like that because it's just a natural phenomenon what this does to the body. Okay, so I'm laid out pretty flat evenly here. Keep your arm somewhere on here balancing yourself because if I let go right now, you could go flying back. You don't want to do that. My elbows are keeping me in place as I'm talking with my hands. Okay, so in this position, you want to lay out here for at least one to two minutes. The reason why is because, believe it or not, in this flat state, and yes, it is different than laying on a floor or whatever, this thing is amazing. Anyways, even in this state, you are stretching out your vertebrae, your spine. Okay, so this has begun the process. You don't want to do this quickly. It needs to be done slowly and pretty calculated, all right? So now that probably 30 seconds or so has passed, and I am a little quicker at things than <laughs> whatever. I'm a little impatient. At this point, what I start doing is I literally just sort of scooch myself back a little bit while holding on to stretch out my back further as much as it'll go. Okay, that's better. Now you can see it's leaning back a little bit already. I'm just going to move my hair. And as I lift this arm up over here to move my ha hair, you have to hang on. Otherwise, you'll go flying back. So I'm just going to move my hair because it's my, uh, oh, it's stuck under my back. Okay, so see, my hand is on top of my head and how much farther I went back already. I'm holding up for dear life with this hand, just so you're aware. Putting my hand back over here. I'm going to stretch out, sort of wiggle myself out a little bit. Now you see my feet? You see how they're locked in there good? Part of me is I get nasal because that's a natural thing that's going to happen as you're upside down here or halfway upside down. Now I'm just sneaking myself back a little bit. You could just sort of sneak your arms back. You see how I snuck my arms back like that? Both of them are doing the same thing. Okay, they're on this, they're doing the same thing. My other one's here, my other one's here. And I'm just slowly progressing back. Now I could feel at this point, at this elevation, not completely back, I could feel the pull on my ankles particularly my right side because my right side is shorter than my left. So you're going to feel that. And it feels great and a little bit, you know, stressful at the same time. Um, I could feel the pull all the way in my leg. I could feel it in my back and my hip area behind me. I could feel it in my neck, believe it or not. Which is why I probably shouldn't be turning around talking while I'm doing this. I'll just talk straight on as much as I can. And uh, each move, do you see my cat up there? Is he watching me? I don't know if you can see my cat up there, but uh, he's on top of my head watching me. <laughs> Say hi to Pika. Hi, Pika. Don't you jump on me. Where are you going? All right. I don't know where he went. Oh, yeah. Make sure your dog is put away. Your cat should probably be put away too, but at least your dog. He is in the cage right now, and that's like the only time I use it. Like if somebody comes over is at the door, I might do that, put him in there for a few minutes. The, the gate's actually open, and I got it blocked off. But for this purpose, oh, look at the cat. Hello, honey. Um, what are you doing, Bumby? What are you doing? This is why your dog and cat should be put away. Okay, anyways, the cat's not as bad as the dog is. I don't know, I'm probably wrong about that, but. The dog is put away. <laughs> trying to shoot a video here. <laughs> I'm trying to photograph a videotape an instructional video here. You're not helping. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where did I leave off? Okay, so for each section that you're doing, like say for now I'm at this level, you should stay here for at least two or three minutes. You need to get that spine acclimated to your new position. Hi, Pika. You know, you're going to be famous one day. I think you're going to be famous. <laughs> okay. And 
And the longer you stay here, the less tension you feel, the less strength, <laughs> the, the less strenuous it is. So, gosh, you know what? Is this recording? <laughs> Thank God it's recording. <laughs> okay. Oh, sugar. Okay. I could feel the release, the pulling, yet the release in my neck, if that makes any sense to you. I could feel the pulling and yet the release in my back, if that makes any sense to you. And I could feel the pulling and the release, like it's stretch. You could feel it. You could feel the band stress, stressing out, stretching out. So it's not as much tension. That makes sense, right? I know that makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. So now, last but not least, if Pika would get his butt on my face, thank you very much. What in the world are you doing, cat? Oh my gosh. Now we can release one arm at a time. Okay, and I stress that one arm at a time. Never, ever, ever take two arms at the same time and throw them back. You will go flipping backwards. All right, now don't forget your feet are locked in down there. So here we go. I'm going to start by holding on with my right hand while I slowly never do these motions quickly. I slowly left <clears throat> let my left hand fall behind my head and this does go all the way back to the floor but I have this nice comfortable ottoman behind me here because I feel comfortable with that it makes me feel safe I'm alone I don't have a spotter and I have cushioning on top of the ottoman as well okay so that's one arm I got behind my head now I'm gonna slowly release the other one even though I'm safely positioned on an ottoman, you don't know, something could slip out of the way, whatever. Always do this motion slowly. And this is where you're going to get your most stretch. It's really going to stretch your neck out, your back out. And for me, I have, I'm going to say, I used to have, oh, I guess I got to say it. Oh, whatever. I like speaking by faith. Right side of paralysis, okay, which means my entire right side is jacked up, and I have this ligament that goes all the way from my back, all the way down to my legs, straight to my toes, that jacks me up. I also have the limit ligament that goes, it's pinched, it goes all the way from my neck, down through my shoulder, it's actually, I used to have a shoulder impingement here, thank God it's been released as of late, and goes all the way down through my arm, through my fingers, okay, that's sometimes why I get swelling. So anyways, um, thank God this is a miracle. I can actually lift my arm over my head now on the right side. Okay, here we go. And then you just literally relax. Now, if this ottoman was not behind me, which I think personally is a genius idea, genuine, uh, awesome idea. I don't mean to speak too highly of myself here. <laughs> That's not right. Anyways, so um, it's a great idea. Oh, this feels so good. Just take it in. I don't even want to talk right now. Just take it in. Listen to the water moving and the gentle music in the background. And I would stay in this position for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. At the very least, 5. I need this right now. And a word to the wise. When you're done with this teeter table, stretching the spine, you're going to want to get some ice on your back and or on your neck. And you're gonna to want to lay down for a while because I'm telling you, as much as this is, as much as this is healing for the body, it you're gonna feel like you got ran over by a truck, and you're gonna need a day and a half to recover. At least that's what I need. But I need this much time, anyways. After putting my back out today at the uh, animal sanctuary, so. Oh God. And just talk to the Lord or think about, you know, or think about nothing, whatever. Hi, Pika. 
And I don't know if you can hear that in the background or not, but that's my crazy neighbors. Actually, they're awesome neighbors. They're from Swahili. But there's a family of nine. And they bring their friends over. And they're incredibly loud. It's just their nature. People from Swahili do this all the time. I had neighbors from Swahili across the way. And they had these huge parties. And when they talk, they don't talk. They scream. And they there's like eight of them all at the same time. Screaming, talking, nonstop for eight hours. It's so crazy. So I don't know if you could hear that over my nice, relaxing, stressful music. <laughs> Stress-free music. But I can hear them through the window. But I'm going to force myself to hear the birds instead and the water instead and the cat licking my arm what are you doing pika see ya hear them out there they're whistling it's crazy today saturday night so i guess they think they could just whatever okay my center side of my back is starting to feel different pains. Um, I feel like it's in a better kind of way, like it's doing something. But either way, I definitely feel like I am rescuing my body here, even though it's semi-painful. In a good kind of way. All right, I don't think I can take any more. No, this arm is a lot harder to lift than this one because that I have a little bit of rem remnants left over with my shoulder impingement. But I do like to lift this arm first for some reason. Okay. Get that in a comfortable position and hang on because I'm get re getting ready to get up. And again, one arm at a time, even when you're going up. You never want to take your arms two at the same time and go up or down so what the same information about going back down one arm at a time is the same information and the same rules you want to follow for going up one arm at a time and do it slowly because you could catapult yourself forward okay that would not be cool so we're just going to go slowly here to relax me right arm i want to bring my left arm up <sighs> Oh shoot, see how it naturally comes up? It's the weight of your body that controls this thing. And you see how I'm adjusting my bra strap now with my right arm? I left this left arm over here hanging on. I know this, I've trained myself on this. Okay, now I'm pulling, I'm naturally just sort of pulling, you don't see it, but I am pulling with my fingers up a little bit. Move my hand a little bit forward, not too much. Coming over the bar a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, as you're coming back, here's what you want to do. You want to come forward a little bit, enough to sort of rest your feet. Sort of, remember how you, you uh, squirmed up here? A little bit, squirmed up a little bit. You want to squirm me back down a little bit. Trust me, I've done this before. This is how you do it. Squirm your way back down a little bit. You can't, you don't want to do any fast movements with the spine. You want to slowly allow your spine to readjust and to go back in shape. Just think about it. I use both my hands to show you right now, but again, one hand has to be on here at the, at the time. Your, your spine, you know, comes in and out. You don't want to do that fast with fast movements. I would sit here for one to two minutes. At least three or four would probably be better. But oh gosh, I'm so tired right now. I can't wait to get up. I'm gonna move my hands forward again. I'm coming. See how you naturally going forward a little bit and straighten me out. Now I'm gonna lift my neck a little bit, and the weight of your neck lifts you forward too. Oh, now I'm gonna squirm down a little bit. Oh, this is feeling better. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to lift myself up. Grab onto these bars. Oh, and I'm going to slowly pull myself up, try to straighten myself out. My feet locks are holding me in, in the foot chambers, slowly moving my body around and lifting myself up. 
repositioning myself. Oh God. Now I know I'm complaining a little bit here, but I just put my body, even though it looks relaxing, I just put my body through a war zone, okay? So you really need to get that ice out, which I usually don't, I admit it. Too lazy to go all the way upstairs and get the ice. That's the thing. I should have had that prepared, pre prepared beforehand, but I always forget about it at the end. And then after the ice, after like 15 minutes of the ice, you can go to warm if you want. Like a, this is a little microwave thing I got here. Where is it? My little nut thing. It's hanging on the side here. Here it is. It's a little thing you place in the microwave. It's got beads in it. I can't, you shouldn't twist around. I'd like to show you, but I can't show you right now. So I just leave it hanging on here so I know where to find it. I got that off of, uh, I think eBay or Amazon. And it goes around your, you know what I will show you? It wraps around your neck, let, let's see. Well, as long as I can pull it off here. It's a heavy weighted, it's weighted heavy, see this? I shouldn't be twisting while I'm on this. And it's heavy weighted. And it's, it's uh, contoured towards your neck really nicely. When you're done with this, you want to put it on your neck like this after it's heated up. Oh gosh, I think I think I will. Even though I should do the cold first, I think I might just, just feel comfortable on my neck. So I think I'm going to leave it here. I know you really can't see my head right now, and that's okay. I don't want to damage my body while I'm turning around looking at you. So again, in another position. You want to hold the different position for at least one to two minutes, if not three or four, okay? You have to adjust your spine. You have to let it acclimate to the new position. And this, again, is the teeter table, if you're just following here. And if you'd like to see more of this or follow up and uh, see the transformation on my two-month countdown, my fitness challenge to my birthday, Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel called Joanne's Inspirational Videos and Reviews, which is what you're seeing this on right now, and or like and follow me on Joanne's Inspirations on Facebook, or both, or not. If you don't like this sort of thing, you're welcome to watch whatever you want, but YouTube is a great channel, so you could get a lot of education on that. Okay, so now I'm going to gently bend over, and I'm going to remember this button right here. This button releases the lock. You probably can't see it past my leg, but this button releases the lock. I can only bend over so far. And you lift this up, because that's going to release. That's what releases your ankles. Your ankles are actually in that device. There's a platform that I'm standing on underneath the leg thing. Just stand there for a minute, again, maybe a minute or two in this position, at least 30 seconds or so, probably 45 seconds. And just sort of, now, at this point, do not lean back, because you are completely free. You don't want to lean back. You don't want to go flying back and you're not in there. You have to be secured in there. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to slowly try to, you know what, I'm not going to swing my legs over. I was going to do it for the sake of the video, but that's not. I can't do it. I have to do it the way I do. Get out. Get out the way it's most comfortable for you without injuring yourself. And I'm going to come over here and talk to you again for a minute. And thank you. I don't think I can get down on my knees to get myself in here. But you know what? I'm going to have to. Otherwise, you won't see me. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm down. Thank you for watching my video on my countdown. To my birthday fitness challenge sometimes in life it includes healing and stretching yourself out and um, stopping doing one exercise for a while probably two to three days I, I might not be doing my squats but I will continue with my one motion weights fitness challenge and I will continue with my six second abs fitness challenge so stay tuned to see if I can in fact change this body around, turn this body around for better health and healing. I will tell you one thing. When I was at uh, Lakeview Farm Sanctuary Friday and today, oh my gosh, because of these exercises that I'm doing, that I've been doing with this um, countdown to my fitness challenge, 
I am so much more limber. I could do so many more things. Um, that's why I got myself in trouble today because <laughs> I thought I was feeling great. I was feeling great. And so I was doing more than I should have. I, I really, I forget that, you know, I forget it. So I get myself in trouble. Duly noted. I always say that. Duly noted. Um, and then I note it. But I get a little better each time. And, and I remember a little bit more each time. Ooh, there's a cobweb on there with a spider on it. On the YouTube video with the stress um, relief soothing music. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish I could show you it right now. But anyways, thanks so much for watching my countdown fitness challenge, including my health remedies and my teeter ta table, which I love and really, really need. I highly recommend it. If you can't afford one, it's understandable. It is quite expensive at $400, um, and you do have to put it together. So you either might have to pay somebody to put it together, or somebody maybe in your family would be generous enough to put it together. Um, even though I have mechanical skills, I'm... I, I naturally have a mechanical mind to put things together, build or fix things. I shouldn't have put it together probably because I was in a world of pain putting mine together for like four days after that. But I didn't have anybody else to help me. So I did do it. This again, this was like three years ago. But um, so if you can't find one, if you don't want to spend, if you can't afford the $400, there are other inversion tables out there. You could go on the Facebook Marketplace and probably find one for 30, 40 bucks. I've seen them out there for 50 bucks. I've seen some out there for $100, $80. So you can do that. I mean, I guess I'm just partial to my teeter. I'm like an easy sell. I love uh, watching my infomercials. Anyways, I think I'm running out of battery um and runtime so thanks for watching joanne's inspirational videos and reviews and please follow me to see my body changes and my health changes in the next two months countdown to my birthday fitness challenge god bless you thank you so much for watching and thank you for encouraging me i do hope i'm encouraging you god bless you bye bye see you next video